In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own movies right from your phone. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today I wanted to show you how you can quickly and easily create videos and edit videos right from your phone. Now this will work if you have an Android or an iPhone device. All you need to do is download the Google Photos application and back up your photos and videos to Google Photos. So here I'm just gonna go into the Google Photos app if you have never used this before, just select the menu in the top left here and then go under the settings. And here you can make sure that under backup and sync, you have everything synced right here. So right here I have backup and sync and that is turned on and then it will automatically start backing up your photos and videos. And right here it is on the high quality setting and it is completely free. So once you have done that, now you need to go out and begin recording video. So a few days ago, we had a balloon festival here. And so I was out recording all kinds of videos of my kids and the balloons. And so when you are recording videos, just be a little more creative in the way that you're doing this. Take a bunch of different shots from different angles, and then your video is gonna look much better. That is a way that you can instantly and easily make some awesome looking videos. So one of the cool things that Google Photos offers is that it will actually automatically create videos. Now the video you saw at the beginning was completely automatically generated. I only had to take the videos and have them upload and it automatically created that. Now it won't do that for every single video you create, but if you have a series of videos in one day that you have taken, it most likely will do that. So if you go into the assistant right here and scroll down, you'll see some of the things it has automatically created. So right here is that movie, and then there's all kinds of other albums and things that it has created. So let's say we wanna create a brand new movie, but we are going to use these same pictures. So I'm gonna go under the photos album, and I could go through and clean this up, find maybe the best videos that I want to display, but then all I need to do is start selecting them. So I'm gonna hold down on that one and then I can go through and we'll just select a bunch of different pictures, videos. You could do both of them all in one right here. So we have some pretty funny little pictures here. You can also pinch to zoom out and pinch to zoom in. So let's get some of the hot air balloons in the sky. Once you have all the videos or pictures you've selected that you wanna use for your video, Come up here and select the plus. And then right here you have the movie options. So this is where it's going to automatically put together all of the things that you selected into one movie. And it's automatically going to generate the cuts and the different scenes. So now this is the Google Photos movie editor. So right here at the top, I have the option where I can just play and watch it. So that's what it automatically created and we could go through and watch that full thing. And then down here are all the clips that I selected and you can see where it is actually cutting those clips. Over here on the top right, we have a little note. So we could actually change the music or we could have it mute the audio. So I'm just going to start there. So here we could say no music. We could have certain theme music or my music. So theme music is music that is already available and you can go through and choose that music. And after I've used Google Photos quite a bit, some of this music has gotten quite old. So I do want to add my own music today. So as what I'm going to do is I pre-downloaded music. I'm actually using a website called Soundstripe. Um, I'll leave a discount code in the link below where you can get 20% off, but there are tons of copyright free selections there. So once you pay for the subscription, you're able to access tons and tons of songs. So I really enjoy that. So we're gonna use some of that music today. So I just need to go to my music and then it will pull up all of the music that you have available right on your device. So here is a few of the ones that 
I downloaded. So we're just going to select that one. And you can listen to it, you could choose a different one. So I think I like this one right here. I'm going to click check, and then we could look and see how it sounds. And then if I want to go through and edit any of these videos, so here at the top, I can just drag and it will expand how long of that video we will see. So if I click play right here, it will show that portion. So that's that little clip right there. So I like how that looks. But then over here, I actually wanna move it this way. And you'll see that when I hold down, it will show you what that part of the video is. Now, if you wanna change the order of the videos that you have right here, you just hold down and you can go up and down and move it into a different place. Over here on the far right, you have this menu where you could have it show the entire video. You could have it hide trim portions. So let's say you have a video that is perfect. You don't wanna make any adjustments. When you select hide trim portions, now it's only going to show what you trim so you know that maybe that's finalized. So I select here again, we do have a mute option, so maybe I want the audio to be muted on that certain clip. Here you can add another clip and maybe there is a portion of this video that you want to use two times. You could duplicate the clip or here you could actually remove the clip. So you'd wanna go through all of these and change them if you want. You can really specify exactly what you want to do. And maybe you just recorded like, five different video clips that you want to put together. You could then just import them all right here, have all five of them show the entire clip like this, and then you could save it and send it off and you could have a full video that you would be ready to upload into YouTube or wherever you wanna put it. So then down here at the bottom, maybe I missed a clip or I wanna add something I deleted or I went and took some more videos, I can come down here and I could add photos or videos right from here. So I just select plus, it's going to pull up my gallery on my phone, and then I can choose any more videos that I would like to use. So pretty simple in the way that this works, but I'm really happy that this is all built right into Google Photos. We take so many videos and pictures with our phones, why not we make them into a little video collage so that we can share them and watch them often. And then once you are completely done with your project, all you need to do is select the save up here on the top. It is then going to prepare everything and save it as a new video in your Google Photos library and then you would be able to share that with anybody. You could export it and upload it to YouTube. You can do all of that. Once you are completely finished editing your video, go back here to your main photos page and you will find this little option here with the video icon. So this is the video that you had just created and here once you select it, it will automatically start playing. Up here at the top, you have a few options where I could instantly Chromecast that right to my TV, which is pretty awesome and handy to have. Here I could star it if I wanna make it a favorite and go back later. Go away, Bixby. And then up here in the settings, we have a few options. Um, one of the things you would wanna do is select download or save to your device if that option is available. And once it is saved to your device, go into your gallery and it will show up in a folder called restored. So here's that folder and here we can see the full video. This is a super easy way to take all of your pictures and videos, put them together and share them. We take so many things on our phone, this is definitely the best way to do that. And there you have it. If you have any further questions about how to make videos through your Google Photos application, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Make sure you also check out the playlist on the side as that's gonna show you some awesome apps that you can use for your Android device. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.